Uh, welcome back, Facebook world. Uh, this week we are going to highlight our Jeep Wranglers with the new 2.0 liter uh, e-torque four-cylinder turboed engine. Uh, so I am driving a Sahara right now. We have deals all month long. We're about $1,100 to almost $1,600 behind factory invoice on every single one of these turbos. Um, I know the Wrangler is one of those old archaic kind of vehicles where everything you want just like old school this, old school that. Well I think what Jeep did is a really good job with this new uh, 2.0 turbo engine because one of the biggest problems with Jeeps in the past is there is absolutely no giddy up and go. Now you actually get some decent giddy up and go to these vehicles but also you get really good gas mileage out of them. Uh, they're actually rated for 24 on the highway and 22 in the city where if you've had a Wrangler before you know those numbers were un absolutely unheard of. Uh, so this vehicle uses uh, the, the new 2.0 liter four cylinder turbo that we, we're starting to roll out in a bunch of our different vehicles. It's actually the same engine that's used uh, in the Alfa Romeo, Stelvio, and the Giulia, which are your high-end European sports type cars. But then they've also mated this to what they call their e-torque system. So what that is, it's a mild hybrid system. So it'll actually give you there's a belt start generator underneath the hood instead of having an actual alternator. Uh, so there, and there's a 48 volt battery pack uh, on this vehicle, which helps add power to the vehicle. Biggest reasons, biggest things that it helps out with is when you're starting from a stop. It uh, adds that little extra torque in the low torque situations and also starts your your vehicle start moving also when you're shifting whether you're up shifting or down shifting so when you're up shifting it's you got to have the rev matching so that generator spins the engine a lot quicker and then when you're down shifting it uses the regenerative braking to be able to be able to uh, help slow those shifts down um, so looking on this couple of benefits is obviously better performance as well as better fuel economy. It's still a Wrangler. It's still going to be able to go anywhere, do anything. Um, and some of the guys that have been, been wheeling with us, I've had a couple customers and they say they do enjoy it. Um, and it's a, it's a great vehicle for what you're getting. Uh, and then what I just want to show you, we're going to get up on the highway uh, right up here. I reset the average miles per gallon when I started uh, this little video so you can kind of see it. and on the dashboard you, I'm gonna have you take a look at that so you're gonna watch my fuel the fuel gauge you can see I'm already in the 20s uh, for this and then when I get up on the highway uh, you can walk if you want to pan out in front you can see the that giddy up acceleration out of a Wrangler with that turbo so I can get up to speed very quickly out of this so you don't have to worry about lack of performance as well as once I'm up to speed I'm averaging in the mid-20s now I mean I'm doing just under 70 it's a little windy here the roads aren't the best condition but it's still a great vehicle uh, so I know this video is a little bit longer than usual but I wanted to touch on the benefits of these e-torque engines they're great engines if you have any questions stop by visit us eat if you want to give us a call you can do that too but we are more than helping to answer any of your questions and help become your uh, dodgy chrysler ram dealership thank you facebook have a great day